So let's go and take a look at this. Um, in this example, guys, we have a rational expression divided by another rational expression. Now, I can immediately go ahead and rewrite this as a product, right? Just by same thing. If we were like to rewrite this as a fraction, basically what you know is you're dividing by this fraction. So I basically just want to multiply it by the reciprocal. It's the same process, which I already kind of explained. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to rewrite this as a multiplication, but I'm also going to factor it. So up top here, I see that I can factor this into an x minus 2 times an x minus 1. There's really nothing I can rewrite or factor out with 6x. I'm going to turn this into a product by multiplying by its reciprocal. In the numerator, I can factor out a 3x cubed. And that's going to leave me with a x minus 2. In my, denominator, or in my new denominator here, because I'm multiplying by reciprocal, I have a trinomial with 3. So therefore, I know that it's going to at least be factored into this. right? I know that my two numbers have to multiply to give me 1. But since my middle term is negative, that means I know I'm finding a sum, but they both have to be negative. So I didn't have to think about that one. right? I literally only had one option. These had to multiply to give me 1, so it had to be 1 and 1. And since the middle terms were negative, I had to give me that one. And then I just double check. Negative 1, yeah, that works. So now I have all my factors separated by multiplication. Now I can apply the division property. And I see that these x minus 1's divide out. 3 over 6 can be reduced to 1 half. x cubed over x can be reduced to an x squared. Right? Yes? Now, when I'm asking you guys to simplify the rest of this, you don't need to multiply this back out. OK, I'll let you guys, you can leave the, um, well, actually, let's, no, never mind. Let's, let's multiply this out. So what I'm going to have here is a x squared times x minus 2 squared, right? Because I have 2x minus 2s. And that's all over a 2 times 3x minus 1. Now, let's go with our, um, Let's talk about our, well, actually, let's simplify this out. So therefore, this could now be, um, this would be a x squared minus 2x. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll have you guys just, uh, you guys can just leave this as is. But I'll, I'll simplify it out because I said I would. I'll let you guys, for the sake of time, because we're getting a little low, we'll leave this in factored form. Fair enough? Thanks, Mr. McLogan. Not making us do so much more math. right? But again, you could simplify like that. And obviously, guys, if it was a multiple choice question, it could be in that form or it could be in that form. Like You should just be able to do either option. But let's just stick it. I'm just going to leave it from here for you guys. You guys can just leave it in that form just because we're getting a little low, low on time. But here's the question, guys. Remember the domain restrictions. x cannot equal. If I set this equal to 0 and solve, I would have a 1. Third, what about 2? Since 2 is in the denominator, we should say x cannot equal 2 or negative 2? No, don't be tricked because there's a number in the denominator, right? But we do know x cannot equal 1. And then, and then also, even though this got divided out, but if you guys look back to my original problem, what also can x not equal? 0. So it's very important, guys, when you're understanding these domain restrictions, don't be, uh, don't be like zeroed in on just the final answer. right? Make sure you guys look at this. And again, don't be tricked, because isn't dividing the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal? Yep. right? So when you're dividing, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, that's what we want to look at as far as those. Like, or dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So therefore, you can see that that operation, how that's written, um, is, is where we're going to look at for our domain restrictions. OK? All right. That's it.